Jesus is not a get out of hell free card. No, he's not. He's a get the hell out of you and set you free card. Imagine that. What's a fighter do? UFC fighter. They fight all the time, right? What's a wrestler do? They wrestle. They put on wrestling matches. They, they wrestle. A mechanic. What do they do? They fix cars. They fix vehicles, right? It's what they do. Brandon, we're always going to be a sinner. No. I think you need to change your profession. Yeah. A sinner is always going to sin. Yeah. Change your profession. Why? How come you don't want to be a saint? How come you don't want to walk in holiness and righteousness? How come you don't want to be a saint? How come you don't want to just be a child of God? You, you want to be a sinner? A sinner's always going to sin. It sounds like you need to change your profession. Seriously. I mean, do you like being a sinner? Seriously, think about it. Do you like being a sinner? It doesn't pay well, does it? Right? I don't think it pays well. Unless you like death. Because I read in the good book, the wages of sin is death. So, change your profession. Right? Change your profession. Jesus is the Savior, you guys. What did he come to save us from? Some of you would say, hell! So we can go to heaven, he's saving us from hell. Yes and no. What did Jesus come here for? He didn't come for the righteous. He didn't come for the righteous. He came for the sinners. And to call them into repentance. We need to be we need to quit being scared of repentance. Yeah, it's about being sorry. And we need to we need to back up those sorrows with actions and prove to God that we're sorry and stop doing some things, right? But we don't do it out of fear. I better cut this out so I don't go to hell. That's not what it's about. How come we can't do it out of love and joy and happiness? Yeah, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these things up for you, Lord. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to turn from my selfish ways and desires and go toward you and your will and your desires and, 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 and impose your will upon my life. God said, Jesus said, we cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven unless we are born again, okay? And it is possible to be born again and, and then turn your back on God and, and become a prodigal, right? But you got to understand something. The good work that God started in you, he will finish it, okay? If you have, maybe you haven't been born again just yet. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you ask God to reveal it to you. God, have I been born again? You get alone and you ask God to reveal it to you. Have I been born again? Have I crossed over? Because we're supposed to be a new creation. New heart, new desires. You think it's just spiritual? Oh, we're going to be washed clean. We're going to be cleansed and, and white as snow. You think these things just sound good? You think it's just spiritual? You, you don't think it manifests in the real life? Oh, oh, cool. That sounds good. New heart, new desires, new creation. We don't desire the old. We, we thirst and desire for righteousness. You think these things just sound cool? Or do you really believe it? A lot of Christians, false converts, religious hypocrites, they think they're in right standing with God, but they've never experienced the real life transformation of Jesus Christ. Maybe they haven't truly been born again. How come some of you are not bearing fruit? Probably because you have some bad soil. You have bad soil. It's time to clean it out. Clean the inside of your cup. If you're a, if you're actually a new creation with a new heart and new desires, you don't desire that old crap that you used to. Sin starts losing its flavor. You don't desire it. You don't t you don't have the taste for it no more. It's nasty. It's sick. It's disgusting. It's going back to our puke and our vomit. How come we ain't repenting out of joy and happiness instead of fear of going to hell? I better stop doing this or I don't go to hell. You need to stop worrying about hell. Stop worrying about hell. And start putting your attention on Jesus. And let him transform your life from the inside out. Let your light shine. Stop being afraid of this stuff. Jesus loves you and he wants to change your life. You need to it's time to surrender. 
Surrender. Get along with God and ask him to reveal to you if you've ever been truly been born again. If there's some things you need to cut out of your life, get alone and talk to him. Please. All right? No, you don't always have to be a sinner. It's time to change your profession. Become a saint and become a child of God. I love you and Jesus loves you. I'll see you in the next one.